actress and writer Chisiwe Sikubu is one of South Africa's rare gems and a true talent. Her debut lead role in the film Man on Ground set her career on a meteoric rise. Since then, she has played some of the most layered roles and won numerous awards for her daring characters. But our favorite has to be her role in the movie Tell Me Sweet Something. Have a look at this. <laughs> Not really my type. I was writing the great African love story. Then my boyfriend at the time left me. I just don't think I found the right guy yet. You need to get out. Meet someone. It must be like the Kalahari down there. Oh, it hasn't been watered in a while. Tashaka's top five rules for picking up men in a club. One, if his shoes are whack, so is he. Two, make eye contact. Three, you get close enough to smell him. The 45 foot man. Yeah, that's not who I am. It's just what I do. What do you do? All right. You're a writer. I wrote once. Four, watch him dance. <laughs> and five, check out his friends. So long. <laughs> Did you pull us over because of the gun in the cubby hole and the drugs under the seat here? Yeah? You'll never catch me alive! This is fun. I really like this girl. I think she might even be the one. Since when is there the one with you? Since this one. We love you, Ned! <laughs> I feel like we're from two different worlds. I have a skin tone. Oh, this is cappuccino. Mm. Chocachino. Mm. Books are my thing. And you don't read. I read. Oh my gosh, it's you! And I'm sure you have lots of women knocking on your door. We need to talk. They didn't quite go as I hoped. Don't tell me you were like... <laughs> no, nothing like that. <laughs> are you sure you're over him? Never been sure. If that's an actual word. That's the right thing, right? Have you ever told a woman that you love them? I'm actually writing now. I think it's a love story. Do they end up together? She is the very beautiful Tishiwe. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Thank I you for having me. I absolutely loved that movie purely because it was so refreshing for me to see something, you know, just a cool, fun, sexy yes, rom com coming yes, out of South Africa. Yes. So, how, what was your experience filming it? Um, I really, really enjoyed the process. Um, Akina Matosho is one of my favorite yeah, directors. Um, he was my first director, yeah. and I had the pleasure of working on um, a number of films uh, with him. So, the experience was refreshing because. Because the first film I did with him was Man on Ground, which was a much heavier yeah, um, film. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so tell me, sweet, something was just um, the joy, the pleasure of celebrating love. Mm. Because as South Africans, we've got so much going on yeah. politically, socially, but also we need to remember that as humans, we still experience the same emotions. I know. In war, there is love. So yeah. even though we're going through all these things, there still are beautiful love stories that we can tell. So that yeah. gave us that opportunity. I absolutely. Absolutely loved it, but I'm always so curious as to your choice in roles because you seem to choose really well. You <laughs> love choosing strong, powerful, edgy women. <laughs> I don't choose it. Um, I don't choose, choose, you. They choose me. <laughs> you don't read the script. The script reads you. <laughs> I was actually saying um, to the ladies in makeup that yeah. I have no idea why I always get cast in these bad girl roles because yeah. it's literally the opposite of everything <laughs> I am. I've never held a gun. I've never stolen anything, but I. Always get cast in these like. Well, really I think bad I'm a bit of a role. bad girl, and I've never held a gun. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really fun. It's really challenging because then that's where the work comes in. Yeah. That's the performance. Yeah. Because you can stay in the comfort zone and keep playing yourself over exactly. and over again. But to be given that challenge of going against everything that you know yeah. and finding the belief, the truth of this character yeah. that comes from an absolutely different world is But I suppose incredible. that's what makes you such a good actress is that you've got the ability to play so many different roles. Yes. And I think it's because you're an actor's actor. You've always wanted to be an actor. Or was yes. that the case? Because I know you went to the LA campus of the New York Film Academy. Yes. So, I mean, you obviously knew from young that this is what you wanted to do. What were you like as a young girl? What was your passion? How did you see yourself? What was the woman you wanted to become? I was a very complicated little girl. <laughs> I like kept to myself. I was a loner. I like contemplated life and death and yeah, what are we deep. doing here? Like I was just really, really yeah. 
frustrated. Still like that. <laughs> <laughs> I find that it's gotten lighter as I grow older, so yeah. I don't take myself so seriously anymore. Yeah. Like I've relaxed and I'm just like having fun and going with the experience of yeah. life, whatever it throws at me. Yeah. Uh, but in my youth, I was just taking things way too seriously, um, yeah. which is what led me to writing because it was the only outlet that I had to yeah. kind of just pour out all this angst. Yeah. I like suffered existential angst as sure. a six year old. So. But you are, I mean, you write for some of the biggest shows and you obviously yeah. love, I mean, do you prefer writing to acting? What is your favorite? Because you are an, an amazing writer. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> what kind of characters um, do you like writing? I, um, and do you create the characters as well, do you, or do you just write for well, them? Well, it depends uh, what project it yeah. is. Um, right now, I am really enjoying creating my own work. Yeah. Um, I'm at that point in my life and in my career where I just want to be fiercely independent. Yeah. So it's becoming much more difficult for me to be a hired gun. I want yeah. to create shows that I yeah. will produce. I want to create the content. Oh, I, love I want that. the power. I want the IP. Yes. Like I'm getting like, yeah. very and political. Then, when about you charge like that, what kind? Um, when you charged like that, what kind of characters do you want to write, or do you want to create? Um, I'm drawn to stories that um, explore who we are as mm. humans. Um, the human condition has always been my, um, yeah. my, my main topic. Yeah. So like um, the things that make us hurt, yeah. the things um, that make us human. Like I, um, I'm a fan of many genres, but I find myself very drawn to uh, subjects of indigenous knowledge systems, mm. who we are as an African peoples, Amazing. the truths that we knew then that are now not known yeah. because our wisdom as Africans is not on, mm. on, on screen. I mean, it's great to have films like uh, Black Panther, Burial of Kojo now, which mm. show, um, especially mystical realism. I love magical realism. Uh, I yeah. love fantasy. Oh, definitely. I'm, I, I'm a dreamer, so yeah. um, when I, when I uh, conceive of story, I like to to think of um, the so-called yeah. uh, unreal, but the supernatural. But also a lot of different contexts, because that's also, when you re read scripts, I suppose, that's what you look for, like, because you did films like Man on Ground, yes. when you weren't looking. Yes. Those were pretty intense films. Yes, yes, I really, really enjoy characters like that, yeah. that allow us to just delve a bit further than, um, uh, for example, your run-of-the-mill um, yeah. Hollywood films yeah. or Hollywood-esque yeah. films. I really enjoy characters that are pained yeah. uh, and tortured. Yeah, um, yeah I, I think um, I, I, I take my artistry seriously in that sense. I like to um, be challenged by a character. Yeah. I like to um, explore work that... Um, because um, what you find with acting is that even if you are playing uh, someone that you could never be, if you are playing a rapist or a murderer, mm. there is some aspect of you in that character even. So to go then into the depth that's of yourself deep to have to go there. and find the ugly mm. things in yourself, yeah. that's the challenge and it's a beautiful challenge. Who did you play in the series Madiba with Lawrence Fishburne and Cuba Gooding Jr? Yes. That was amazing. Um, I played Cuba. Lawrence Fishburne. <laughs> <laughs> um, I played Evelyn Mandela, which was such an honor because her story is not told a lot. Um, and a lot of um, what I found when I was doing the research for her character was incredible because mm. there are so many um, stories around how and why um, Nelson and Evelyn broke up, which I found that yeah. were, I won't say untrue, maybe half true, but yeah. like to find that, to find the woman behind, because she's like one line in history. Yeah. And this was an entire woman who um, oh, mothered uh, her. all his children. Yeah, I won't speak bel uh, badly about Nelson, but things got real. It was like a real relationship. Yeah. It was... He's a man, after all. Yes, it's the same type of <laughs> yeah. things that people sure. like us, we think of these heroes as like these... Um, yeah, demigods. Supernatural yeah. demigods. Yeah. And they so had... So what uh, was yeah. your experience like with, with Cuba Gooding Jr. and Lawrence Fishburne? I must be honest, I've interviewed Lawrence Fishburne. He was such a difficult interviewer. Really? <laughs> he is such an intense man. Oh, I found him lovely. He was so sweet. Yeah. Yeah. He was very, very gentle, but I suppose it's because of the work. So yeah. when you come to work and you know, OK, we're playing husband and wife, then yeah. you, you, you come with that... Um, he was actually quite strict with everyone else, yeah. but he was very gentle and very tender with Who me. Who couldn't be with <laughs> <laughs> So what are you working on at the moment? Um, I 
cannot say, uh, oh. but I can hint. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm working on an incredible series that I am so excited about. Yeah. I think I'm allowed to say that it's an epic, it's an African epic, so I am wow. so looking forward to that. Yeah. Um, because again, it's the type of work that I'm really interested in. It's a very strong female character. The best. That's as far as I can go um, you know, uh, with someone. I can't even say that. No. I can't even tell you who the director <laughs> is, but I love and respect him so much, so I'm really, really excited. We're going to have Akeem on the show pretty soon, but he's in LA at the moment, so when he yes, comes yes, back, yes. we want him on the show. He's amazing. Thank, yeah. you for, thank you so much for coming through today. You are an absolute joy to watch, so we can't wait thank to see you. you more. On the big screen and the little screen, all mm -hmm. screens, thank you for being here. Thank you.